Adelaide Airport's announced the next phase of its $600 million redevelopment. There's a massive problem unfolding at Adelaide Airport right now. And the only way to solve it is to deliberately destroy part of the terminal while thousands of passengers walk through it every single day. This is Project Flight, a $600 million surgical operation being performed on an airport that can't afford to stop for even a minute. And if the engineers get this wrong, one of Australia's busiest aviation hubs could grind to a halt. Let's talk about what's actually happening here, because this might be one of the ambitious construction projects in Australian aviation history. Adelaide Airport is experiencing one problem. It is running out of space. Let me give you a little backstory. Terminal 1 at Adelaide Airport opened in 2005. It was modern, efficient, and designed to handle the city's growing aviation needs. But here's the thing, it became way too successful. It was literally suffering from success. You see, by 2019, the terminal was processing 8.5 million passengers per year. That's nearly double what planners originally anticipated. Now, let us look at the forecasts. They're predicting 19.8 million passengers annually by 2039. That's not a gentle upward curve. That's exponential growth that the current infrastructure simply cannot handle. Then there's freight. Adelaide is becoming a major cargo hub, and freight demand is projected to nearly triple to 146,000 tons per year. The airport needs more apron space, more gates, more everything. To paint a clearer picture, in 2025, Adelaide Airport shattered all previous records with 8.7 million passengers. The capacity crisis isn't coming in 10 years, it's happening right now. So, what do you do when your airport is struggling to keep up, but you can't shut it down to fix it? You do something radical. You demolish part of your own terminal and rebuild it while passengers are literally walking meters away from the construction zone. The first step in project flight is both dramatic and essential. Engineers need to demolish a key section of Terminal 1, specifically the elevated southern ramp. This is the drop-off road where cars have been pulling up for nearly 20 years. Why tear it down? Because it's directly in the way of what comes next. Underneath and around that ramp, Adelaide Airport is planning to build a massive 1,500 square meter expanded check-in hall. This expansion will increase check-in capacity by 25%, and become home to dozens of new self-service kiosks and cutting-edge baggage technology. But here's the challenge. You can't just bring in a wrecking ball and hope operations continue uninterrupted. This demolition has to happen with caution. The terminal won't be shut down. It will still be operating. Passengers still checking in and flights still departing. One wrong move, say, one structural miscalculation, and you could compromise the entire operation. Imagine trying to renovate your house while your family is cooking dinner, watching TV, and sleeping in their beds. Now, multiply that complexity by a thousand. That's what building on a live airport feels like. Adelaide Airport handles tens of thousands of passengers every single day. There are planes taxiing, refueling, and boarding, and baggage carts zipping around. Not to forget the strict security protocols and airspace regulations. And now, right in the middle of all that, you plan to introduce thousands of construction workers, towering cranes, heavy machinery, and demolition equipment. This is where the real engineering comes into the picture. The margin for error has to be zero. If a crane interferes with aircraft movement, flights get delayed. If dust from demolition contaminates sensitive equipment, systems fail. If construction accidentally cuts a power line or data cable, the entire terminal could be affected. This isn't just about building something new. It's about building it in one of the most challenging environments, an active airport that cannot, under any circumstances, stop operating. So how do you manage this chaos? How do you coordinate thousands of workers, dozens of cranes, hundreds of deliveries, and complex demolition schedules without causing a single disruption? The answer to this is digital twin technology. Before a single shovel hit the ground, Builder Hansen Junkin and its joint venture partner, Wattpack, created a full digital replica of Adelaide Airport. Not just a 3D model, which is basically a digital twin that simulates every aspect of the construction process in four dimensions. Three spatial dimensions, with the fourth dimension being time. This 4D construction planning maps out every single worker, 
Every crane movement, every truck delivery, every concrete pour from 2025 all the way through to 2028. The purpose of this digital twin is simple. Zero clashes, zero interruptions, zero catastrophic mistakes. Before anything happens in the real world, it's tested, simulated, and refined in the virtual world. If a crane's swing path comes too close to an active taxiway, the software flags it. If a delivery truck would block emergency vehicle access, the system redesigns the route. Here's the scale we're talking about. By the time Project Flight is complete, Adelaide Airport will have added 17,000 square meters of new terminal space. That's the equivalent of 2.5 full-size soccer fields added to a building that's already operating at maximum capacity. That's why this expansion isn't happening all at once. It's being rolled out in phases, each one designed to minimize disruption while maximizing the speed of construction. The northern expansion, scheduled for early 2026, will add 10,000 square meters of space. That's 1.5 soccer fields of brand new terminal area. This expansion will house new domestic lounges, additional jet bridges, and sleek modern glass architecture that brings Adelaide Airport into the next generation of aviation design. Then comes the southern expansion in early 2027, adding another 5,500 square meters. This section will include two new domestic gates and three regional gates capable of handling both large jets and smaller turboprop aircraft that board directly from the tarmac. But here's the really tricky part. All of this new terminal space has to integrate seamlessly with the existing structure. That means matching foundation depths, aligning electrical and HVAC systems, coordinating passenger flow, and ensuring that the old and new sections work together as one cohesive terminal. It's like architectural surgery, and it's happening while the patient is wide awake and walking around. While all this construction is happening above ground, there's an equally complex operation taking place beneath. Adelaide Airport's baggage handling system is being completely overhauled. Think about what that means. The underground conveyor network that moves thousands of bags every single day is being torn apart and rebuilt while still processing luggage. The centerpiece of this upgrade is the installation of five new standard 3 CT X-ray scanners. These aren't your old school two-dimensional baggage scanners. These are advanced computed tomography systems that create 3D images of every bag, allowing security personnel to detect threats with better accuracy. The installation is happening over a 14-month phase plan. One section of the baggage system is upgraded while adjacent sections continue operating. Then, once that section is online, the next phase begins. But the hardware is only part of the story. Adelaide Airport is also implementing new bagware software that fundamentally changes how baggage is managed. This system automatically identifies, sorts, routes, and tracks every single bag in real time. It also ensures every bag is safe for travel, providing an extra layer of protection. It knows where your luggage is at every moment from check-in to the carousel. More importantly, it future-proofs the airport. The new system enables early bag storage, meaning passengers can drop off luggage hours before their flight and explore the city without dragging a suitcase around. It also supports modular upgrades, so as technology evolves, Adelaide can swap in new components without completely getting rid of the old system. That's not all. If you've flown recently, you know the pain of security screening. Shoes off, laptops out, liquids in tiny bags, standing in line for what feels like an eternity. Adelaide Airport is about to change that experience completely. By late 2025, passenger checkpoints will be upgraded with new 3DCT carry-on scanners and full-body scanners from Rapiscan and Smith's Detection. These are the same technologies being deployed at the world's most advanced airports. Here's what that means for passengers. You won't need to remove laptops or liquids from your bag. The 3D scanners can see through everything and identify threats automatically. The full-body scanners replace the old metal detectors and pat-downs with quick, non-invasive scans. The result? Wait times are expected to drop by approximately 50%. What used to take 15 or 20 minutes now takes 7 or 8. That's a massive improvement in passenger experience, and it's happening while the rest of the terminal is under construction.
While terminal expansions grab headlines, there's another critical piece of infrastructure being built. Nine new aircraft aprons. An apron is essentially a parking lot for airplanes. But unlike a regular parking lot, an apron has to withstand absolutely extreme conditions. Modern aircraft can weigh over 500 tons fully loaded. They generate massive heat from their engines. And on a hot Australian summer day, asphalt would literally start to soften and deform under that weight. That's why Adelaide Airport is building these aprons with heavy-duty rigid concrete, designed by engineering firm Oricon and constructed by Downer. The concrete is up to half a meter thick in some areas, strong enough to support the next generation of wide-body jets without cracking or sinking. These nine new aprons add critical long-term parking capacity. As Adelaide's passenger numbers climb toward 20 million annually, the airport will need every single one of these spaces to handle peak traffic periods. Let's talk numbers. Project Flight is costing Adelaide Airport $600 million. To put that in perspective, that's roughly equivalent to major Australian mega projects like the Sapphire by the Gardens Twin Towers in Melbourne or the UNSW Health Translation Hub in Sydney. This is a massive capital investment. But here's the thing, this expansion is absolutely necessary. Without this expansion, Adelaide Airport would be overwhelmed by the capacity within the next few years. That means flights would be delayed, airlines would be forced to reduce services, and the entire regional economy would feel the impact. In short, this is infrastructure spending that directly supports economic growth, tourism, and connectivity for South Australia. The timeline is ambitious but achievable. The entire project is scheduled for completion by mid-2028. That's just over two and a half years from now, which in the world of major airport construction is remarkably fast. Now, of course, not everyone is thrilled about Project Flight. Construction on this scale comes with real impacts on the surrounding community. There's noise, lots of it. Demolition equipment, heavy machinery, concrete trucks running day and night. There's dust from demolition and earthworks. Not to mention the increased traffic around the airport, as thousands of construction workers commute to the site every day. Adelaide Airport has been transparent about these challenges. They've acknowledged that the short-term disruption is significant, but they've also emphasized the long-term benefits. You see, Project Flight is creating approximately 6,000 construction jobs over the life of the project. That's 6,000 paychecks, 6,000 families supported, 6,000 workers gaining experience on one of Australia's most complex construction projects. And beyond the immediate construction jobs, the expanded airport will support thousands more jobs in aviation, tourism, hospitality, and logistics for decades to come. And to show they care, the airport has implemented dust suppression systems, noise monitoring, and strict working hours to minimize impact on nearby residents. So that's Project Flight, why it matters, and it will be carried out. So, do you think the timeline is achievable? And do you support this expansion? Let us know in the comments.